Do you dread using the W word, whom? A lot of people are confused about this word and afraid of using it incorrectly. Let's clear that up right now. Who is a subject, while whom is an object. We've talked before about pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, who. Those are all subject pronouns. You can use them instead of the original subject. Dorothy walked, who walked, she walked. But there's another set of pronouns that you can use instead of the direct object. We call these object pronouns. This list includes me, you, him, her, it, us, them, and whom. Dorothy walked her dog. Dorothy walked whom? She walked him. Mr. Bennett praised his daughter. He praised whom? He praised her. If you're replacing the subject, use one of the pronouns from the subject pronoun list. That includes who. If you're replacing the direct object, use one of the pronouns from the object pronoun list. That includes whom. Which of these sentences is correct? Who is going to the party? Whom is going to the party? Who is going to the party? Who is a subject pronoun and who is a subject of the sentence? Here's a hint that might make it easier. Try putting in she or her. She is going to the party. Works because it's another subject pronoun. Her is going to the party. This sounds all wrong because her is an object pronoun, just like whom. So you know you wouldn't use whom. Let's try another one. Which of these sentences is correct? Who did Bill call? Whom did Bill call? It's the second one. Whom did Bill call? <laughs> Surprised? Many people use the wrong word here. Let's check by answering the question with he or him. Bill called he. Sounds wrong. That's because he is a subject pronoun and so is who. Bill called him. Sounds right. Him is an object pronoun, like whom. If him is correct, then whom is correct. Do you have something to say to the world, but you don't quite know the right way to say it? English is a complex and powerful language. Socratica is here to help. Our grammar videos will give you the confidence to communicate your ideas effectively. Subscribe today and make the English language work for you.